So how are sellers selling their home right now? Are they selling it in a bidding war? Are they selling it at market value? Well, we're seeing a bit of both. Right now, we are certainly seeing the majority of homes come to market under the $1 million price range. They're coming to market in almost a, a bidding war type of status where there's an offer date. You hit the market on a Monday, offers are the following Monday. There's other listings that are hitting the market in which they are hitting the market on a Monday and the offers could be any time. They are priced dramatically different. The offer date ones are usually priced slightly below market value in order to get more people through the house to get a bidding war and hopefully push it above whatever the overall market value was just from demand. The other one where you list it straight at market value, that one there is taking sometimes a little bit longer on the market um, as you know the house marinates on the market and then it comes down to the almost like first come first serve. Somebody goes through the house, if they like it, they're welcome to submit their offer. They're not being told to, to hold off. So here's two examples. A house is listed at 800,000 and no bidding war. So it may sit on the market for seven days, 10 days. It may only sit on the market for three or four days. At that point, the buyer can come at any time there. If they like the house, they can submit their offer, negotiate the price. You may get it for 800, may get it for 795. In the other case, the bidding war, somebody may you know, have an $800,000 house. They may, may list it at 749 to try to get attraction, to try to get showings, because with showings comes offers, with offers comes bidding wars, and then with that comes the ability to maybe sell it slightly above 800,000. Um, but it's a very busy week, it's awfully inconvenient for many people who are selling their home because quite often they're being asked to leave the house multiple times a day. So these are things that you have to take into consideration. Now, when we list a property, it's very wise for an agent to kind of look at both perspectives. Um, my advice quite often to clients is, let's start with, for example, if the house is right, if the price is right, if the location is right, let's start with a bidding war. And in the event that you don't get what you want after seven days, then we raise the price to market value. Now what happens is we have now shown the market what it is that we're looking for. If we go to that, it's not a plan B because a plan B would give the indication that plan A failed. It's not. We're just exploring two different selling passage, uh, paths to see which one is going to get the job done best for that property. Now, if you happen to you know, go path, you know, the, the, the bidding war path, and you, you happen to put it slightly below, you get an offer, you're very happy with it, then of course, there's no reason to raise your price in the future because you've already accepted an offer here. But let's say you do the bidding war, you get some offers, you're not happy with the offers, and you say, okay, you know what? I can't work with any of the numbers that came in. I want to pivot the strategy at that point. You raise your price and then you kind of show the market what it is, like I said, that you're looking for. So that's the kind of market that we're in right now. It's uh, the bidding wars are not as predictable as what they used to be in terms of uh, a desired outcome for the seller. Uh, it, it's we are, We're having to kind of explore different paths to see which one gets the seller the best bang for the buck. So anyways, if you have any questions, it's a very dynamic market. It's a moving market. Reach out to us. See you guys.